brought to you by BoardGameAtlas.com, the fastest growing board game community in the world. Kia ora koto and welcome to Rival Restaurants in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. It has no solo mode. It's a game for 4-8 to eight players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. 8 rival restaurants have opened in one small town and you are the chef behind one of them. So grab your kitchen knives, preheat your ovens, and fire up the grill, and get ready for the Thunderdome experience that is shopping for ingredients. Eight chefs enter, one chef leaves. The wiener of this game is the first restaurant to get 20 social media likes for their food. Set collection. To make and sell food, you need the right ingredients. Variable player powers. Each chef has game-changing powers they can use. Trading. You can trade ingredients and money between restaurants during the timed phase. Player turn. At the start of the game, you will have a restaurant and a chef, along with their standee, as well as one of each type of recipe. At the start of the turn, collect money, and then you must decide where to go in secret using this handy dial. Select your ideal location, and then place the dial down to show when you're ready to go. All chefs reveal simultaneously, and then you place your chef. The recipes you have will influence where you go. We selected the fruit stand to get the beans and avocado. Once all chefs are placed, the short timed phase begins and trading opens. If you are the only chef at a location, you can buy the ingredient you are placed on as well as any others, including buying blind from the deck. If two chefs go to the same location, they each get to buy the ingredient they're standing on. And then it's first come, first served for the rest. If two chefs go for the same ingredient, they enter a bidding war until one of them relents. Some chef powers have a huge influence during this phase. For example, Love Handle stops anyone else buying from that location. You can also go to the counter, and this allows you to upgrade your restaurant, getting a basic cookbook, a gourmet cookbook, an improved stove to cook more than one dish at a time, or more income. You can also pause the time round in order to play an action card. These cards have powerful effects like robbing another chef or stealing their ingredients. You can also buy new action cards and dispose of trash here. After the time phase, if you have all the ingredients you need, you can make a dish. You discard those ingredients, gain a number of likes as shown on the recipe, and more of it matches your restaurant type. Collect any rewards for increasing your score as well. Then collect the trash shown on the recipe. Finally, draw a replacement recipe unless you have the matching cookbook, in which case you draw four and choose one. It's now the next turn. Why would you like this game? Rival Restaurants is a game about complete bastard chefs who care about nothing other than their own personal culinary creations. And as a result, it's a fast-paced, frantic game full of ways you can screw each other over. It's tailor-made for large groups of extroverted people who love lots of interaction and silliness. And the different chefs all feel unique and interesting, with game-changing abilities. And the whole game is wonderfully illustrated and presented. It nails the silly chaos and confrontation of its theme exceptionally well. The best thing about this game is the action cards and the sheer levels of silliness they bring to the game. However, while this is a game for 4-8 to eight players, it thrives on interaction and is far from its best at lower player counts. I think you need seven or eight players to get the best experience. And due to the first come first served approach to aspects in the game, timing can be a problem and lead to arguments. Like the idea of real time cooking but not competition? Try Kitchen Rush. And for a totally different type of real time panic, try XCOM. Rival restaurants, one table, eight Gordon Ramsays. If you enjoyed this video, support us on Patreon, listen to our podcast and check out our website.